Yeah, you can remember his voice very vividly and, and even his final England press conference in Baden-Baden when he was sort of warning the nation and, and in particular the media, uh, Wayne Rooney, don't kill him. Uh, very softly spoken, very caring and conscientious. Uh, Charlotte references the... Um, John Percy piece in The Telegraph when he went over to see him. They played a bit of pool together. It was a lovely um, sort of tribute John's written. And right at the end of it, he said, you know, Sven Goran Eriksson um, reminded you to to be nice to people. We don't see that much of uh, that sort of sentiment these days. And 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 when you look at the managerial positions he had, it, it wasn't just those big ones we mentioned prior to England. It, it, Went a bit obscure after that. There was the crazy days at Manchester City and um, Notts County as director of football, I think, with some grand plan to come up to uh, the Premier League, which uh, fell apart. And then he took some international positions. Um, he he failed to qualify for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, but then, then he took over the Ivory Coast and managed them there. Uh, they didn't get out of the group. Then he finished with the Philippines, bizarrely. But what I wanted to say with that is that all of the jobs he got was largely because of his, his quality as a coach, but his qualities as a human being. Uh, it doesn't seem there's much of a bad word said about him anywhere. And I think every tribute you see today, I, I read from Peter Crouch giving him his debut for England. Like universally, they they seem to be praising this um, man who was just so kind and and nice and loved by everybody that... Uh, he came into contact to and 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 you may say you know for, to be a successful manager you maybe need to be harsher and govern in a different way but he had plenty of success in his own right and Theo Walcott was on the radio this evening sort of talking about that there was a stare that you you did feel his presence when he wasn't happy about something and things weren't going right but above all else you know football and the world has lost a, a beautiful human being and and it, it was a, a real journey and adventure he enjoyed. And I think if if we can all embody some of the spirit he left with to just sort of cherish these days, then um, uh, then we won't be doing too badly. Yeah, David, Charlotte, lovely words uh, from both of you. Thank you.